After the army ousted Egypt's first democratically elected president, critics have accused it of trying to take full control of the country. To show good faith, the interim government is using a transparency policy by engaging the public in the preparations for the referendum. This is the first time an elections committee has asked citizens to double-check the voters' database before voting. It is important to us that citizens know that they have a right. This database is open for anyone now. People must be proactive. Check your voting status now. If you know someone who is dead and still has a voting right according to our records, file a complaint now. The ousting of Mohamed Morsi has been explained as a popular demand, so the real challenge for the interim officials is turnout for the constitutional referendum. A strong turnout would indicate the majority's acceptance not just of the document, but to the new political roadmap as well. But indications so far are not encouraging. Concerning the voting for Egyptians abroad, once again we need help. The committee had a database of 662,000 registered voters abroad, but unfortunately, I regret to tell you that it has only increased by 11,000 since we opened the registration in October. Most of the registered voters abroad are Morsi supporters. They are expected to boycott the referendum or vote no at best. On the other hand, the 50-member committee responsible for drafting the new constitution has been divided on articles determining the identity of the nation. A Coptic demand to insert a quote, Egypt is a civil state, has been ignored by the majority. And after failing to reach a 75% agreement on the remaining articles, the committee is now trying to change the bylaws to reach a 50% plus one rule. Advertisements are spreading all over the country, some of them promoting a yes vote for a document that is still in progress, but all are encouraging participation. The referendum is the first post-Morsi democratic test that will reflect what Egyptians truly want. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.